Some of my favorite people are bounty hunters. Welcome back, guys. If, if anybody deserves to actually do that line, it's this guy. Van Seal over on YouTube and Twitch, growing quickly, and one of the coolest outro videos I've ever seen. If Don't skip by the whole video. Make sure you watch the whole thing, but you got to see his newest outro. It's awesome. All right, brother. I appreciate you being here. Let's talk about Grief Karga, who you say is the best bounty hunter in this game. Yep. Why? But best bounty hunter. Prove me because wrong. Because he can he can do so many things passively for bounty hunters, and he will like I, I don't I can't I can't put into words how amazing he is. He is just so good. And I think as we go through his kit, I'll, I'll show you guys how good he is because he opens the doors to just so many different ways to get the contract. Um, a lot of creative ways uh, to get the contract that all really apply in 3v3 too, especially. I feel like he shines, I don't say shines more in 3v3, but you can do some pretty cool things in 3v3 that you typically can't do in 5v5. So I've never cheated in uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but I'm gonna cheat right <laughs> now. I'm gonna cheat what I normally do. I don't normally give you guys the mods away. We are recommending speed times four with some health times two, but he may give you some other recommendations. But let's start off with the abilities. Dual shot. Yes. Basic. Um, this is a great basic. Um, days on any any basic that has days is always just really, really good. Ridiculous. So, um, and you deal damage twice, which we'll talk why that comes into play later. But um, dealing damage twice is pretty good for bounty hunters on basics, uh, especially basics. And then... Um, all allies with the payouts, which I don't know why they worded it like that, <laughs> but um, because you're not going to have allies with the payout and some without the payout. Like, right. anyways, yeah. um, recover 5% health and protection. Um, it's only 5% health and protection. It's not because he does damage twice. You're recovering 10%. It's just 5% health and protection on a basic. So. so let me ask you this. Have you noticed when you, since you attack twice, is it basically giving you two chances to drop that days? Um, no. No, no, no. It's, it's still one chance to drop the days, unfortunately. But, but, but attacking twice will count as two attacks for some of the contracts for bounty hunters. Ah, so, bingo. Yeah. Bring them in cold. Bring them in cold. Um, so this is a fantastic ability. A lot of people don't equip the Zeta at first, but, um, and a lot of people say it's a luxury Zeta just because the Zeta, just because the Zeta portion just says plus 20% more damage. It very, it doesn't do the ability justice. So this ability uh, is typically your what opens up your combo into, you know, boss taunting, getting frenzy. Then you do bring him in cold, one mass assist, goes back to boss with the frenzy, and then he does his mass assist. But you dispel all debuffs on the target enemy, which cannot be evaded. Um, so that's already really good. Then you call all bounty hunter allies to assist. Um, and then if you have the payout active, you deal 30% more damage. And some of you might be saying, well, like, who cares? The whole team is doing... 20% more damage with the Zeta. The entire team is doing 20% more. And what you're you about to point sure. out, if you kill him, you, you're going to point yeah. out in a second, if you kill him, this uh, who you're going against, you get all these buffs. So that extra 20% yes. from everybody almost guarantees the kill. Yeah, and you, we all know, if you look at all the other, other bounty hunters and their payouts, they all get like offense or crit damage mm -hmm. or defense penetration in Boba Fett's case. So they're going to be hitting harder anyways. So this really just like that 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 call assist after the contract's completed really just kind of like has a little bit of extra oomph to it. But like I said, yeah, when you kill the target, you get pretty much almost every single offense buff in the game. You get offense up, defense pen up, um, crit damage up, crit chance up, and health steal up. So I mean, it's just like a it's just a feeding feeding uh, feeding frenzy at that point. I didn't for a long time even look at this Zeta, and then once I read it. I was like, I love anything that, that passes the, to the whole team. And when I saw this, yeah. and then before we went on this uh, video, I didn't realize that when you kill the opponent with that ability, you get all those buffs. And you, you get just those buffs for three turns. Yeah, three that's turns. That's insane. That's how, that's how you do some crazy damage to bounty hunters. Yeah, I love that Zeta. Yep, so we'll move on to the next ability, Sweeten the Deal. That's the next Zeta. Um so without the Zeta, uh, this is probably the first Zeta. If you're going to do any, any both of these Zetas, you definitely do Sweeten the Deal first because the Sweeten the Deal adds more survivability. Yeah. So you dispel all uh, debuffs on Bounty Hunter allies and all allies gain retribution for two turns. They recover 25% health and protection, double if they have the payout. So if you have the payout, 50% health, 50% protection, plus third meter. Um, 
and um, all yeah, and all allies with the payouts get tenacity up for two turns and fifty percent turn meter. So it's just like it's such a great ability. Um, it's on a five turn cooldown, but man, this ability is like um, it, you just turn the tables, you turn the tide of the battle. It or saved this me. is the ability that gives you max banners on offense too. Yep, yep. This this has um, saved me many a times in many battles. So I want to spend a little bit more time talking about this ability because this is the ability mm -hmm. that actually makes Grief Karga the best bounty hunter in the game. Go with it. Because Grief can do one thing that no other bounty hunter other than Embo can do. And I barely consider Embo a bounty hunter these days because he is so bad, unfortunately. <laughs> but Grief Karga allows your team to complete the contract during your opponent's turn. And a lot of people don't know you can do that. Um, oh, so during your opponent's turn, because of retribution. Oh, so during your opponent's turn, me. the blue icon for the whatever contract you're doing, it does disappear, but your contract doesn't go away. So because you get the retribution, and that's where this comes into really into play in 3v3. 3v3, wow. you typically don't complete your contract right away, but this move will help. Yep. And if your bounty hunters are on defense... I have seen so many times where the contract gets completed during the opponent's turn and it immediately turns into um just a complete um turns just the tide shit sh yeah, yeah. It, it, it turns it, it turns the tide completely and the bounty hunters once they get their contract you are getting disintegrated if boba fett's there he's almost kind of like um anakin yeah. where you know when the contract gets completed he takes a bonus turn so if you're completing <laughs> the contract during your opponent's turn Boba is immediately cutting to the front of the line and saying, I'm going, I'm either going to shoot some of the rocket or That's you're going to get so Billy good. blocked. Yeah. Oh, so he, he can actually not, wait a minute. He won't use his basic sometimes? Well, no, because if Grief is on the turn, uh, and we'll, we'll get to the kit, but when Grief is on the team, not the turn, when Grief's on the team, when the contract gets completed, he resets everyone's cooldowns. Oh, see, I was thinking like an assist, because assists are always a basic, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, no, but when... But when you're Boba saying Fett for his takes, next it, turn, the next time he goes. I got you, I got you, I got you. Right, because okay. he takes a bonus turn when the gotcha. contract gotcha, is gotcha, completed. Gotcha, so gotcha. you yeah, might yeah, be yeah. you might be doing stuff, and then he just... He, he's almost something like Anakin, where he's just right. like, boom, I'm going. I thought you said he was going to take that assist in through the through the whistle. I'm like, wait a minute, am I missing something here? But yeah, you're saying uh, he gets 100% no, 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 no. cooldown, turn meter, boom, at that bonus turn. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Yep. Excellent. Wow. So move on to his lead. I just um, learned a lot. His lead... His lead... I've never used it. No, I don't have much to say on it other than I've never used it. It's kind of a worse ber version of boss lead. Yeah. Just don't. Yeah, we're just not going to talk about it. It's not that great. Um, Maybe one day, maybe one day, but I've never really dabbled with it because. Um, they, the yeah. bounty hunters have some great leadership. They do. And, they're and, hard and to beat. And, yeah, it, the the ones that are the best ones have been the best ones for years for ages, before yeah. grief. Yeah. So. Or saying boss Django, they're just they're just. Yep. You can't be all him. characters before grief yeah, yeah exactly yeah. all right so we'll move on to his uh first unique um boss of the guild at the start of the it's funny i never knew the names of these abilities until i actually had to read them for these videos <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> at the start of the encounter grief gains stealth for two turns okay so um that's really really good in itself and let me explain why we'll we'll, we'll continue reading in a second but yep. the reason that is so good is because when you run that aura sync team that's so popular you know the aura disintegrate yep. team aura only stealths attackers yep. she only stealths attackers so grief kind of takes care of himself he's like don't worry i'll I'm stealth good. myself i'm the boss so he'll stealth himself for two turns he's fine um each time a bounty hunter ally earns their payout again this is so this is very this is worded very weird it's like they all earn it at the same time it's it, it it's almost worded like they they, they earn their payout throughout the battle, like different times. Anyways, they all earn their payout. Um, all bounty hunter allies' cooldowns are reduced by one. Um, and Grief also gains the following bonus um, bonus stats. So, um, wait, what? Oh, it's stacking. Okay, so yeah, sorry. I just, again, it's worded kind of weird. So he gets a 10% counter chance, uh, crit avoidance, and max health stacking. So that's per bounty hunter so obviously you're gonna run a five-man team so that means all their cooldowns are going to be reduced by five okay right um there really aren't any cooldowns um that go past, past five, five so yeah so you're, you're good so you, reset cooldown more or less more of the bounty a lot of the bounty hunter abilities are like a three some of the, the more expensive ones are on four so um 
Yeah. Um, and we'll right. move on to his payout. I want to look at his. So um, his payout is grief. Dis this is huge. This one is amazing. Yeah. When the when the contract gets completed, he dispels all debuffs on bounty hunter allies and recovers a hundred percent health and protection. Like, yes. That's nuts. Like so. Goodbye debuffs. Our team is ready Everybody's to kick ass. Alive. Every well, well, well. He only gets the health and protection, but yeah, everyone gets all of uh, everyone gets all their debuffs get cleansed away. Right. They get their cooldowns reduced. Um, and then he gets he gets like a big reset where he's back at 100% health protection. Then grief gains a stealth for one turn at the start of each of his turns. So he's pretty much always stealth. Um, it's um it's pretty awesome. And anytime he gets inflicted with a debuff. Um, and this is where you see all those Lord Vader counters come in handy. Yeah. Uh, he reduces his own cooldowns by one. So anytime... Um, That's pretty insane in itself against certain teams. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I want to jump back to the, uh, you, the, the, the unique real quick because there's something I did forget to mention. So the he does get 40% counter chance. Um, and, and that may not seem like a lot, guys. That may not seem a lot, but a lot of people run Aura Sing. And this is kind of maybe going to an Aura Sing video, but you have to remember her her contract also gives 50% counter chance. So Grief will have under her lead 90% counter chance and his basic heals. <laughs> so and it puts days. So yeah. it's something to keep in mind. Yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. Uh, this now now I'm kind of leaning toward you where he might be the best bounty hunter. I'm sorry, he is the best bounty hunter in the game. I don't want to get yelled at again. Um, so uh, mod wise, we talked about four speed, two health. Let's talk about yep. the circle. What are we doing with the yeah. primary? Um, so you're going to mod him almost identical to Bosk. Um, I don't have a very good speed range for him because, you know, you guys are all at different levels of the game. Right. Um, I always say, get your grief and your Bosk as fast as possible. Yes. Rule of thumb. Grief is always a one speed slower than Bosk. Yes. Um, at most five, because you really want that back to back combo going with them where you know he taunts grief does the call to assist that gives boss an extra turn and then boss is the call to assist and then you're just at that point you're just going crazy the higher but in circle, Kyber you are the closer you want that speed gap between the two yep yeah, yep yeah. no more than five the goal is one right um health or protection really really work on the the circle um either or you know whatever whatever gets you your speed goal right triangle um Triangle, definitely uh, same thing. Health and protection. I yep. would definitely lean more. I would say at least have one of those at protection. At mm -hmm. least have one of them. Um, I was just going to say, say I would split the circle and the triangle with one with protection yeah. and one with health because you want him because he heals both. Correct. Yeah. And then yeah, the, absolutely. here's the tricky one. What about the cross? Cross. You have three options for the cross. I agree you can do this. health. Uh -huh. You can do protection. Uh -huh. Some people... Um, and I think this is more of a defensive option. If you like to place your bounty hunters on defense more, potency. You can run potency on your cross because, like I said, he does daze on his uh, on his basic. Um, you know, you can he can get called to assist by Mando. He can get called to assist by uh, by um, Bosk. Um, he gives everybody retribution, so he could start. And all, you know, he gets all that counter chance. So um, potency is not uh, not a bad option. But I would say I would only reserve that. Or if you place your bounty hunters on defense, if you take them on offense, you definitely want the health and protection just because you do not want this guy to die. And his tenacity is so horribly low, it wouldn't even help. Well, he gets tenacity up. Right. But yeah, no, his base tenacity is, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty bad. Yeah. And being under stealth is going to be hard to target. So it'd have to be an AOE ability block to get him anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And his potency, his potency at a uh, relic levels is at 31%. So like I said, that, that, that cross that's potency, um, it could help. Moral, and I, I agree with you there as well. The moral of the story is you want him fast, as we talked about behind Bosk. You want him survivable, and uh, potency will help. Again, the speed goal, I put him at 250 minimum, but this guy knows better than me, and I've heard this over a million times too, between one and five speed, uh, difference between the two. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Let's talk about his mastery. Accuracy, uh, his defense, penetration, and health steal. <laughs> Yeah, um, you're not getting much out of the master. Unfortunately, he's mm -hmm. he's he's like uh he's one of those characters where his mastery just does not help him at all. They put him in the um, wrong slot. I think there's 12 different masteries you can get total combinations, yeah. and this one maybe Hellsteel does, but the other two are trash. 
I mean, he barely, trash. he's not hitting hard on that no. basic. That basic's not killing anybody. So Did the you know seal... that he is, I think, he, I can't remember if he was the worst hitting character in the game or real close to the bottom. Wouldn't surprise me. I it, it wouldn't it surprise once. me. He's, but he's not there. He's not there to, you know, kind of like in the show, you know, they try to stay true to the character, you know, Grief Karga was never really a threat he yeah. was kind of sending out people that were threats so he's not he's he's more of a, a facilitator um than a soldier at this point point. and the last question relic priority from a scale of one to ten good question so um i have mine at eight um i would say get him to relic because he's a fast character and you want that speed you want to make sure your boss and grief are as fast as you can possibly make him without breaking the rest of your mod sets um I would say at minimum, guys, get him to three. Five is probably where most people can leave him, mainly yeah. because of the C pit. Um, the only thing you really get out of getting taking him to six, seven, or eight is he gets a little bit more survivability. Right. And as you see in some of these Lord Vader counters, for those of you that are doing Lord Vader counters in 3v3 or 5v5, um, that's where they lose the fights because they lose their grief, they lose their engine for their team. Um, and it's not because he gets hit, because like I said, he's stealth like most of the time. Um, it's because an AOE goes off and he just can't heal in time. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight the bounty hunter on this one a little bit because I agree with what he's saying with those specific counters and uh, different things. I was I wasn't even aware he was using CPIT actually. But if you can get just the right side gear twelve to get the speed out of him, you can get the speed you need and deal with that for a while until you get to the play level where you need to take him to relic. I've been getting away with him at gear 10 on one account and gear 12 on another. Uh, my upper account does him at gear 12, and he does really well. Um, only because yeah, I, have, I found priority absolutely. in relics somewhere else. But um, but for the yeah, survivability... If you, if you can get away with him not being relic, you can totally get away with him. It's just It just might be a little bit more strenuous on your mod set to get him up there, obviously. Like, once you get him to relic, you do get a little bit of extra speed. Where, you know, you might be able to, you know slow down on the the mods a little bit or, or you know give those mods to somebody else right if you find that you can't keep him alive anymore it might be time to take him relic yeah i think that's kind of the way i judge it um in, in my own personal but again he is raw support that's what this guy is here for he is a massive support character what yep obviously and i'm I, you've changed my mind he's the best body hunter in the game so good call good call and, and like and like i said i think the the reason he is the best is and i think i think this goes for all characters um, the best characters in the game do stuff passively. And yes. what I mean by that is yes. you don't have to push it a button or wait for a cooldown for something to happen. Right. He just does stuff. He reduces his cooldowns. He goes in stealth. He cleanses the team. Counter chance. Uh, he resets their cooldowns. Contract. Counter chance. <laughs> he does so many things and you barely have to push any buttons on this guy. Yeah, wholeheartedly agree. Anything else you want to top off on him before we get out of here? Uh, nope, I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah, this was a 18 minute video. This was good information, man. I learned a lot out of this one as well. Always awesome to have you on here, brother. I appreciate it. And don't forget, guys, for his channel will be down below. It's Van Seal, V A N C E L E. Make sure, make sure you go over and give that man a follow. Oh, speaking of follows, hey, there's my button. Get that stuff in here. Till next time, we're at one battalion strong. We are one battalion strong. strong.